Good morning, guys. It's a very rainy Wednesday here, but we've needed the rain, so happy to have it. I don't mind an occasional rainy day, but I thought I'd do a little home tour. I said yesterday that we just moved in here about six or seven months ago, and I just wanted to show you some of the decor that I've got, knowing that everything is not quite done yet, but this is um, simply shabby chic bedding in the front guest room that I put here. That wall needs some attention. And I just got these drapes at Big Lots. And I've had that wall hanging for a while. And this is a TV stand that has a fireplace in it. We used to have it in our living room, but we moved it into here. And then this is our office, nothing really to see there. And this is if you come in through the front door. I've got my table here. I hope you can see it because I forgot to turn on the light. And I did a lemon theme for summer this year. And these candle stick holders I picked up at Goodwill and I painted them with white chalk paint. And then I took some nail polish remover on a q-tip and I just scratched some of it away so it would look like it was chippy paint like it they were old and then this is just a dollar store container here and I think I got these at Hobby Lobby a long time ago and then I've got a little ladder down there with a piece of cloth over it with chickens and that's my laundry room over there you can probably hear it you Nothing to see there. You can see my dogs. <laughs> but this is a kitchen. And so far, what I've done, that's the pantry. And I made a coffee bar over here. And I have the battery operated candle there. And I put a wreath. I put one of those hooks command hooks up there and I put a wreath up there it just I think it adds a lot and I've got my crock that I got at Goodwill I mean I'm on a budget you guys so yeah that's why and these two things look glass they hold my oils but they're plastic and I got them at the Dollar Tree and this is our table and chairs and again I did the same thing with these candlesticks I'm kind of on a candlestick journey right now i love collecting them and i got those candlesticks at goodwill and roughed them up a little bit i found the chicken at goodwill and then this i think i got at big lots and i bought these hanging shelves from amazon and most everything up here i've had for a long time i just shopped my house and filled up the the shelves with it and these were Dollar Tree. And again, I just slapped some white paint on it so they would look um, old. And this picture of this, I guess it's a church or a schoolhouse. I, got, I picked that up at my Goodwill. And these three plates also got at Goodwill. And I got some hangers over at Walmart. And they just stretch across the plate and hang on the wall. And this table here, I got from my sister-in-law and it was in her front hallway, but I think it looks pretty nice right here in this space. It needed something. And these books, again, Goodwill paint, Goodwill and Goodwill, Goodwill on my tear tray. Sometimes I like my tear tray and other times I I think it's too much and but right now I like it so it's gonna stay. That picnic basket I also got at Goodwill and then I don't remember where I picked up that towel and then these drapes are Walmart and they're textured and really soft. I really am impressed with those. 
So I hung them from hook, uh, yeah, rings, hook, ring hooks, I think they're called. And so they do brush the floor just barely. And then this is the other TV stand that we have. Another candlestick down there. Um, and I need to put something up over the TV. And that's the other window we have. That fan is an eyesore, but it was hot in here the other day. And just got pictures from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. Most of the time when I go there, I won't buy anything unless it is on sale. They're gotten kind of pricey. And they don't or, um, offer that 40% off anymore. And I have my dough bowl. And I got some balls and some moss and put in there. And I kind of like the simplicity look of that. And then just one more area I want to show you. This wall, if you've got any suggestions, this wall is really big. Really big. And I don't know what to do with it. That's why it's still sitting there. Because I don't want to just start slapping stuff up there willy-nilly that I don't really like. And this is the master bedroom. I got this from Amazon. It's lightweight, but warm. So I'm going to keep that on there till summer. I mean, through summer, and then I'll change it. Now, um, these candle sconces here, also I found at Goodwill. This window is on the side, and if you'll notice, they're the same kind of drapes that I got at Big Lot that was in the front of the house. And I want you to notice that because I'm about to show you. The other window over here has different curtains. I am going to get these curtains for that window, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna love them. So I just got the one set with the ruffles. And then at night, they can we could just pull them over and pull down the shade. And I'm also looking for something to do on this side of the TV and this side of the TV. And I don't know what I wanna do just quite yet. <coughs> oh, excuse me, there's my purse. So, yeah, and then you just come back out here and back into the living space. So we also changed out the lighting fixtures. These were just some of those run-of-the-mill um, pendant lights, and they hung real low. So we put these up. First of all, we bought this one, and we put it over the dining room table, but it wasn't big enough. So we got another one to match and put it over the island. And then we got that big sphere one. I love the candle light bulbs. I'm just a romantic like that. And put that over the table and it looks much, much better. That really did add to this room, just changing the light fixtures. And that wasn't that expensive. I think we got everything at Menards. So, yeah, that's a rainy day home tour. And as I go, I will decorate more and show you guys what I do. But thanks for sticking with me and uh, seeing my house. I appreciate it, and I will see you again. Bye.